With only an hour to go before kick-off of the historic Wales-Australia rugby match, a team of young men prepared to take to the pitch for a rousing performance. <laughs> During the summer of 2008, only men allowed a choir from Wales shot to fame when they won the BBC Last Choir Standing competition. Overnight, they had turned the traditional image of the male voice choir on its head, but it's been an eight-year-long journey of hard work and graft. Now they're set for the experience of a lifetime. Only men allowed. Only men allowed. Only men allowed. Only men allowed. It's only men allowed. It was the best damn performance of the series, gentlemen. <laughs> Guys, you've done it again. That was probably the best performance you've ever given. Last Choir Standing was a talent show made by the BBC to find Britain's favourite choir. Hundreds applied, thousands voted, and millions watched. But there could be only one winner. The winner and the last choir standing is... Only Bella! It was no accident that only men allowed opted to sign their five album deal with Universal at the home of Welsh rugby. Choir singing and rugby go hand in hand in Wales, but their mission is to break the mould of the male voice choir and take that strong, rich tradition onto the world stage. For Tim Rees Evans, the choir's music director, it looks like no one is going to stand in his way. To be honest with you, we just entered this competition on a bit of a whim, really, not knowing quite what was going to come of it. Maybe nothing would, but it's just changed our lives. The biggest prize from this competition has been the reports I've been getting that membership of choirs is through the roof. When I started the choir eight years ago, uh, it was always my dream to just inject a little bit of vitality into this fantastic heritage that we have of, of male choir singing in Wales. and. Uh, I think uh, we've managed to do that in part and we're looking forward to, uh, to continuing the work um, that we, we love to do so much. And with the deal signed, it's a case of, hello world, here I am. Get ready for me world, cause I'm a coming. It's hard to put in words what, what today actually means, you know. This is the sort of culmination of eight years of hard work on Tim's behalf, but also on, on the choir's behalf. The competition and what's happened since it has changed my life already. I've had the time of my life. I think we're all very excited now about where we can go with everything. In just one month, life for the choir has changed beyond recognition. Most of them have professional careers of their own, such as teachers, pharmacists, gardeners, insurance sellers. They haven't quite been able to give up the day job just yet, but all efforts were made so that no one would miss the recording of their first album. And so, to the world-renowned Air Studios in London, where the boys will spend the next five days recording 11 tracks. Founded by the Beatles' Sir George Martin, Air Studios has seen its fair share of famous names. The last time I was in the studio was two weeks ago when we, I came here to meet our producer Simon Franklin for the first time and see where we were going to be recording and Razorlight were recording in this very room and you know every major band in the world records at air. <laughs> Well, it's got to be up there with the best sort of group recording studios in the world. I don't think you're going to find a better place than this and a better acoustic than this. It's just fantastic. And to just be here is, is quite surreal, really. Before you come in through the door, you've got the score of the Beatles yesterday. And you're just passing it and you're like, OK, well, <laughs> here we go then. Well, let's give it a shot. But it's, inc it's incredible. It's brilliant. The first piece we're recording this morning is Come From There, um, that old Welsh standard of course, and like the second Welsh national anthem. With sort of a, a bit of a sort of a chant, a bit almost like a hacker going on underneath it with the words glad, glad, played your Louis Vuitton glad. <laughs> The record's producer, Simon Franklin, has worked with the likes of Barbara Streisand, Diana Ross, Madonna and Celine Dion, recording her track All By Myself, a song which only men allowed have now made their own. 
heard us, he'd watched the show, really likes what we're doing and is working really hard to represent what we do live because that's what we are, we are a live choir. Just getting that onto a disc is quite different. There are no canes, there's no lights, there's no dance routines. Um, you've got to try and inject a little bit of that pizzazz. But on an early Thursday morning, injecting that pizzazz may be easier said than done. What I need to see though, I need to see those eyes and... <laughs> I need mean, everyone to be you imagining that there are, there are thousands of people watching. So the first song that we've done, just getting used to the space, getting, getting used to the, the reverb we, we've been tackling really this morning, um, wasn't so successful at the first couple of goes. There's a little bit of a, a man flu epidemic uh, going, going through us all, so I'm a little bit worried about how voices are going to hold out. You know, this is a very serious illness that affects the male population in this country, and um, yeah, we're all succumbing a little bit. I think a lot of it is psychological, if I'm being honest. I think there is a lot of worry about coming down with things and stuff, because if you do come, you come down with something, you, haven't really, you can't really do anything else, can you, about it? And that, that's your voice gone, it's your instrument, so I think... As singers often do, we're being really quite careful at the moment. Man flew aside, the pressure's on to get it right. I have to say, guys, um, sorry to say this, but it is a lack concentration and a lack of personal responsibility. Tim has set high standards and only men allowed have ambitious plans, yet they remain firmly rooted in a strong Welsh tradition. Choirs in Wales and the male voice in particular has been a bedrock for potential and future talent. For Tim it was the Carmel Baptist Chapel in New Tredegar which was to be his. As a performer and as what I'm doing now with Only Men Allowed. This was really was my training ground. Musically, uh, you know, hearing the first singing that I, <clears throat> I probably ever remember, live singing now I'm talking about, um, we didn't have the Eisteddfod tradition here. Newtrediga uh, is a very anglicised community in South Wales, so the Gamanva tradition, or the singing festivals as we called it, being an English-speaking chapel, um, I just remember sitting here as a little boy and, and it f feeling like the whole place was just full of the sound of, of people singing glorious music. I'm loving angels instead. When I was 14, together with my, my aunt and, and a friend of mine from the chapel, we started a choir in, in this chapel, but it was drawn from members of congregations across the village. That was invaluable. and. People in the chapel and, and never tried to stop me, they encouraged me. And I think that's what we should be doing to young people nowadays. Too many people say you can't. And I'm just so blessed that people never said you can't. People just said to me, yes you can, do it. One of the reasons why I started Only Men Allowed is to encourage young people to provide a training ground, to provide an opportunity for people to come together and sing. And being in the position now that we're in, with Universal giving us this amazing album deal and Last Choir Standing providing the platform for seven plus million people to watch us every week, um, we have an amazing opportunity now that I really want to seize. Recording an album at Air Studios seems a far cry from Only Men Allowed's first concert at the Camel Baptist Church in New Tredegar, but it's their unique approach to choral singing which has brought them here. The arrangement certainly is a modern twist. It's, we could have put down a traditional um, arrangement of Cumronda, but there are loads of CDs out there with, with traditional uh, arrangements of Cumronda. And one thing I wanted to do more than anything when I started Only Man Allowed is, is just do something a bit different with a male choir. We've still got all the elements, and I'm so proud of the tradition we come from, but let's do something new. Let's do something different. Well, I think 